the, the, the calm before the storm. storm. You're tuned in to Combat Sports Central. This is Fight Show Live with Ozone and T-Mac on Sports Radio 1025, The Fan. All aboard! <laughs> yeah! Aye, 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 aye. Rock and roll, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Fight Show Live, Sports Radio 1025, The Fan, come on. We're talking about some ass whipping, talk about some butt kicking, and uh, no, what? One of the We're best. Not? Well, no, well, one of the best that that are that's doing it right now is on the phone. He's on the phone with us. I mean, this is this is the quiet assassin. That's the way he does things. LC Davis. LC yeah. <laughs> Davis. What's up, sweet daddy? How are you, man? Thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. You got it, brother. It's an honor every time. LC, talk to us a little bit. We were talking to Ryan about how you you had Ryan Roberts as an opponent. Uh, I, I saw some things where maybe you thought it was a little fishy how he got hurt. Uh, tell us a little bit about how this whole process came to be and where you're at right now, who you're fighting, and what do you think about him? Um, well, the Ryan Roberts issue, um, you know, I, I don't know if he's hurt or not. You know, it's not really <laughs> my call, so I don't want to, uh, you know, you know, say something that's not true. Um, but what the facts are that, uh, you know, I was scheduled to fight Ryan Roberts. We signed a bout agreement over two months ago at 135. About two or three weeks ago, he um, said he was having problems making weight, which, again, we signed a bout agreement for 135. So he asked me to fight him at, for the 145-pound belt instead. And I was like, no, nah, screw that. We signed up for 135, bro. And, uh, so, and then I guess he was saying, I was like, what's his reasoning for not being able to make weight? And he said he had to go out of town uh, for work for uh, four or five days and he wouldn't be able to train that hard or something. And I was like, well, tough shit, you know, make weight, you know. And then, like, even even with that, I was like, well, you know, if he can't make weight, you know, I'll let him come in at 140, you know. I'll still make weight at 135. I'm basically telling him I'm going to give him a five-pound advantage, you know, um, you know, as long as you come in under 140, I'll still take the fight, and we, you know, it'll still be a title fight, and it's all good. Um, then, you know, uh, last week uh, I get the call that he slipped one sweat and hurt his knee, you know, and just everything leading up to it kind of just made it sound a little fishy, you know. But uh, you know, it is what it is. So um, now we're moving forward. Uh, Victory was uh, cool enough to find me a new opponent on short notice. So I'm thankful for that, and uh, I'm just excited to still have a, a fight next week. Well, you're still going to do it on uh, Saturday night, and you got an opponent. It's not it, it hap- doesn't happen to be Ryan Roberts, but uh, you still got an opponent. Does that matter to you? Did you pre- prepare specifically for Ryan Roberts, or, or, or do you even care? No, nah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the, the crappy part about it is, you know, um, I'm fighting a guy that isn't probably as um well known or have the credentials that uh Ryan Roberts has, you know. I was looking forward to fighting, you know, someone that's a former UFC vet and a Bellator vet and he's the champ at 145. So it just means a little more beating someone like that. You know, um uh this new opponent, uh Dominic Blanco, I think his name is. Yeah. You know, kudos uh, you know, props to him for stepping in on short notice. I appreciate it a lot, you know. Um uh, you know, I think he, he's a warrior for doing it, and, uh, you know, unfortunately he just, you know, picked the wrong guy. That, meaning you, right? <laughs> Cause, yeah, cause correct. You, you're going to put an ass whipping on him. Well, L.C. Davis is with us. He's fighting the Victory Fighting Championships in Omaha Saturday night, and somebody going to get an ass whipping, and it ain't L.C. Davis. <laughs> LC, <laughs> talk to us a little bit about what you have planned for this year. We know that you you and Jason High run HDMMA. It's very successful. It's growing, it seems like, every day. You've got this fight coming up this weekend. What's the plans for this year for the LC Davis brand as far as being the gym owner and the fighter? Uh, man, uh, just to keep building the, uh, the brand on the, on the gym, you know, just keep uh, building up fighters, uh, building up members, and, you know, keep growing as a gym. Um, as as me for a fighter, man, my goal is to get in the UFC this year. This year, you know, um, I, I've been trying to stay active. I just fought uh, a few weeks back, uh, uh, Kansas City Fighting Alliance, and I was hoping, you know, to put two wins together in in 30 days. Uh, you know, fighting Ryan Roberts, maybe that would mean something. And 
hopefully, you know, I don't know, make a case for myself, you know. I feel like I, I, I still have a winning record with Zufa, you know. I, I, I've been trying to find fight you know top guys i haven't been looking for any weak opponents you know i've you know i've had scheduled fights with uh you know josh hill was supposed to be a top prospect you know ryan roberts is a prospect you know i'm uh the one loss that i have outside of the ufc was against the strike force vet you know i've been fighting guys that are worthy you know i haven't just been trying to fight tomato cans and uh <laughs> i'm you know I, i'm just trying to uh I'm not in this to to be the Midwest local tough guy, man. I, you know, I I've been to the top of the mountain. I was you know ranked top ten in the world at one point, and uh, for me, it's all about getting back there. You know, so um, you know, I don't I, I don't want to just keep fighting on these local shows forever. You know, it's uh, you know it's all or nothing for me. I just want to keep winning and you know get the call. Well, it, it definitely. I mean, you're a WEC veteran. You you were you know a, a featured fighter on that promotion and stuff. And and and, uh, and like you said, a top ten ranked you know fighter at uh, in the bantamweight uh, division and stuff. But uh, man, you, well, you I was know. gonna say for this fight, we saw before you you had the replacement and Ryan Roberts fell out. We saw that you went out to AKA. Tell us a little bit about that. You were out there with some savages. So tell us a little bit about training out there. Oh, man, it was awesome. Um, a good friend of mine from Kansas City, uh, Sean Bunch, he trains out there, and as well as some uh, old training partners I had up at Extreme Couture, uh, Extreme Couture they moved to AKA now, um, Gray Maynard and Tyson Griffin. And so I just talked to those guys, man. I you know, had a tough opponent lined up. I was just wanted to go get some quality training and just see where I'm at, you know. I've been, since I own my own gym, primarily training at HD, and um, i just, you know, been working hard, and I think I'm improving, but... The best way to go out and test myself is to go, you know, train with some of the best in the world. So I went out there and uh, I got some great training, man. They welcomed me in. Javier Mendez is awesome. He he treated me like one of theirs, you know. And uh, I I was a southpaw, and so I ended up being a, a training partner for uh, Josh Thompson, who's fighting uh, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz uh, coming up soon. He's a southpaw, so I got a lot of good work in with Josh Thompson, Gray Maynard, Tyson Griffin. You know, Sean Bunch, you name them. And uh, it was just a great experience. I, I plan on going back for sure whenever I get another, you know, big fight lined up. And probably going out there a little longer next time. Um, yeah, and hopefully I can get back in the UFC and, you know, do some more training camps out there in AKA. Got a wrestling base, LC. I mean, how did you develop, uh, you know, the rest of your game? I mean, because you're very well-rounded, and that's what you're known for. But you, you have a wrestling base originally. Just talk to us, just just give us a little bit about how you developed uh, the well-rounded game that you have now. Yeah, um, man, just hard work, man. I, uh, you know, I came from a wrestling background. I've always kind of like uh, adapted boxing pretty easily, and um, that's kind of been my love. And I kind of, you know, fell into a boxing mode a little too much. Um, towards the end of my WC career, and uh, I've always kind of neglected jiu-jitsu a little bit, but in the last year and a half or so, I've been working with Travis Conley on my jiu-jitsu, and he's really uh, tightened up my holes, man. I, I feel much more well-rounded than I, I was when I fought with Zufla. I'm a completely different fighter now. I'm at a new weight class. I'm I'm, I'm stronger. I still have the strength. I'm, i got a better diet. I, you know, like I said, I've improved my jiu-jitsu. My stand-up's getting better every day. And I still have my wrestling, working on that, and and guys like Jason High and Darian Terry, and you know top level wrestlers at our gym helping us, helping me sharpen up my wrestling. So I feel like I'm a better fighter today than I was when I was ranked in the top ten. I just need a chance to prove it against the top guys in the world. Well, we're looking forward to you uh, doing that uh, in, in the uh, the coming uh, days and weeks and months. L. C. Davis uh, started as a wrestler. But uh, definitely got the skills with the hands as as we've come along. And we're looking forward to you fighting on uh, Victory Fighting Championships in Omaha. Saturday night, man. Can't wait to see you. And thank you so much for taking the time. L.C. Davis, baby. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. You guys take care. You too, man. Talk to you soon. That's L.C. Davis. Check him out. Victory Fighting Championships this Saturday night in Omaha. You are listening to Fight Show Live on Sports Radio 1025, The Fan.